Hey everyone, it's Adam with Dadgeneered, and today I wanted to show you guys uh, how I did my air assist upgrade on my 2440 Ohm Tech. I've seen a lot of them where uh, the regulator and things was put on the outside or attached to the wall, but here in the shop I, I kind of need to be able to be as, as mobile as possible, and so I wanted to create something for the air assist that would be mostly internal, where I could just simply connect it to the compressor kind of when needed. Because I still cut a lot of acrylic and I'll use the lower pressure that comes from the air assist uh, from the factory. And so one of the first things I did was I actually put my uh, air connection nozzle in the side. Using a couple washers, I was able to fill the space of the metal and then screwing on in the back the actual um, six millimeter uh, push to connect hose clamp. That goes down into the, uh, well, passes straight through goes up to the regulator so you can kind of see where the the regulator uh is is, is installed it is auto uh or semi-auto draining and that drain actually goes down out and then i drilled a small hole through the bottom here where it was blow any water uh out of the regulator so the ghost uh in from the machine and from the compressor up to the regulator and then up top <clears throat> I picked a locking regulator. That way I could lock it and wouldn't, wouldn't mess the uh, pressure. But then I also have the uh, uh, pressure dial valve, whatever the heck it's called, uh, to show me what pressure I'm at. And that simply just runs out of the regulator with that same push to connect into the back here. And I did the same thing, kind of like I mounted the intake, where I used some washers to screw it in place uh, using, again, another one of those uh, uh, connectors. I did have to run to the store and get a... I think it's a one eighth NPT, a female to female to connect that uh, that hose. So then it comes out of the regulator down into my solenoid valve, which I say there's plenty of of YouTube videos on how to actually do all the setup, how to do programming and light burn, and then out of the, the solenoid valve into the back of the uh, uh, where the laser air assist was originally set up. I did do my Y valve here instead of going all the way back over there as I've seen done, because like I said I'm keeping this compressor hooked up because I. I don't mind it being there. I cut a lot of acrylic and I use a lot of the, a lot of this uh, if I just need to cut something quickly. So I don't even have to use the compressor if I don't want to. So it really kind of gives me the best of both worlds. And then it goes up to the laser like normally. But just wanted to share that install. See you everybody.